today we're going to be going over a speech recognition model, Whisper. We'll be transcribing and translating an audio file from a previous video. So we'll take this audio file. In a world where I roamed freely, a curious sign named or, or a discovered a hidden library of... And then translate that into another language like French. Now we'll be using the Whisper Large version 3 model from OpenAI. This is trained on 680,000 hours of labeled data. And just last month, it almost had a million downloads. Here are all the sizes that you can use. I will be using the largest version 3, but all of them are multilingual. Okay, well, let's start coding it. And the first thing we need to do is install all the requirements. I, ha I will have a requirements.txt file here. So all you have to type in in your terminal is pip install dash r requirements.txt. Okay, there's going to be two different ways that we're going to use this. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way is the easiest way, and this is using an inference server. So on Hugging Face, if you go to the model, Whisper Large Version 3, on the right-hand side, there's a deploy. Choose Inference API, and then it'll come up with this dialog box for Python, which we'll be using. We're going to have the API URL and the headers which is where we're going to send the request to this model, and it's going to give us back the transcription. So right here, you can see it says output equals query, and then they give the FLAC file. So we're going to go ahead and do something very similar to this. Now, back in the code, here I have the API URL, and I have the headers. You're just going to have your bearer token here. And I've literally copied the same exact code, okay? Just have a query function, and then I call that, except this AI audio is what we created from day 11, the text-to-speech directory. We're going to use an inference server, and it's just going to be us the transcription. Let's run it. Okay, and here is the transcription. In a world where I roam freely, this is the audio file that we tested that I showed you in the beginning. Okay, so this is just the straight transcription of that audio file. Really simple. All right, now for this next bit of code, this is a little bit more involved, right? So now we're using a uh, straight code where we're not using any API requests to have something done for us for, on a different server. So again, we need to import a couple more things, but I will have uh, the requirements.txt. So you already have these when you do the pip install requirements. But we choose our device. Mine will be a CPU. We had the model ID, which is the large version three. And then for the model, we're grabbing the sequence to sequence and speech to text modeling. And then down here, we're grabbing all the pre-trained vocabulary from this Whisper larger version 3 model. And then we have the pipeline where the magic happens. So this is going to be automatic speech recognition. You might see the acronym ASR, the max new tokens. You might need to change this if you if you think it's a really long audio file. You can, you can return timestamps. I'll get to that in just a second. And then we have the pipe function. And we have to give it the input, which is the audio file. And then for the generate arguments argument, we're going to give it the language as French. Now this result text is going to give a straight translation and the result chunks should give us the timestamps of the translation. Let's run it. And so here is the translated text. This is from the print result text. And then here is the result chunks. So as you see, it chunks out all the timestamps for the translated text. So from zero to 7.6, it has all of this text in French. And then from 8.32 seconds to 15.9 seconds, it has the next text. If your machine can handle it, this will run just fine locally. This is day 13. Thank you for watching so far. Not gonna lie to you, it's a little bit of work, but this, but this is another building block or a piece of the puzzle that we will kind of end up putting together where you can translate an audio file, some generated file, or if you download like a YouTube video, right? And now you have the audio for it, you can pass that into here and then have it transcribed. And then maybe have something else just summarize that for you. Or if you're, or if your company uses something like Confluence where everybody puts all their documents, it's just an, a web platform where everybody put their documents together and it's kind of organized, supposed to be anyways. But those documents need translated for different people. This is a way that you can do that. Here's some more videos on Autogen. I'll see you next video.